Well, hi, everybody. This is your stay at home grand with grandma, and I'm bringing you the Wednesday night. So, if you want to come on and you want to talk, you want to be late, then we can talk about the ones that we've lost. Um, my granddaughter made me some cake, I made the ice cream, but this is good. So, I'm just sitting here. I'm so tired. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but I'm just tired. I've been up since about 5 30. So I was um, looking at some um, notes from people. You know, they left, left me just different notes and stuff like that. And I'm just, you know, contemplating where we're at in terms of, you know, our losses. And I, nobody gets over it. They don't. Um, and as we speak, one of my cousin called me. Well, no, my cousin called me and um, her son has some kind of liver problem or something like that. And he may be transitioning out too. So it's it's hard. I hope that's not the case, but when it comes, it comes in groves, droves rather not groves, droves. So anyway, how's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. I'm just here. Trying to, still trying to. I have one more thing to do, and that is um, write to the IRS and tell them that he was transitioned and ask them, you know, what to do and what I can do. Are they, because he didn't get some of his stimulus package or something. So I don't know whether I'm allowed that or whether I'm not. I really don't care, but, you know, I'll still see it through. And um, we'll see what happens. But I know it's difficult. And I think what really happened, too, is the fact that it brought back feelings about my mom and my dad and just other people. You know, even to really think about it. Everybody's that's gone, and you know, you relive a lot of things when when you lose somebody. But um, you know, I'm still gonna do what I gotta do, and I'm still gonna be strong, and you know, face my fears and. Like I said, you know, continue to live until I don't live anymore. But it's hard. I think it's the hardest thing I've ever, no, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. And I want to give a shout out to Maggie because She's going through some things, and a lot of you do know Maggie, so say a prayer for her. Um, I don't know. I really don't know how to approach this. Well, I do know how to approach it, but um, I don't know. I just thank God that you know he, we had a lot of friends and a lot of people have been there for me. Um, at, at some point in time, I've been there for them too, but you know. I 
I think the reality actually hit me when I got all those passports and everything, and then I had to, um, you know, like send them send it for his bank statements and stuff like that and close his bank accounts and stuff like that. That's when reality really hit me. I was talking to um my niece. Um she was here earlier and um her husband died last year. It's been a year and um she was telling me, you know, did you do this and did you do that and everything like that. And she was telling me how she felt, you know. And I'm like, yeah, really. I felt like somebody dropped a brick in the middle of my stomach. And it's like a brick that you really can't get rid of. And I just wonder. How everybody else feels. It's um, a known fact that people do not deal with grief the way that they should. And I was just thinking because of this last debauchery that happened in Texas, you know, Unbelievable, but the teacher who got killed two days later, her husband dies of a broken. He said, they, they say it's a broken heart, and I say it's a broken heart too. It's just a shame because they left four children. And um, the whole thing just really got to me. I think not the world, but some of the people in it have just completely just, that's gone out their rocker. But how somebody can justify killing little kids is behind me in any shape or form. Um, what I'm hearing is, well, I'm not going to say that because I don't believe it. Well, then the police were like 15 to 20 minutes standing outside. I mean, I'm not understanding any of this. Is the whole world just going mad? Not the whole world. Some people in it, not the whole world. I can't blame it on the world. Unbelievable. And then, by the way, there were attempted uh, there were attempted shootings and in other schools, other school districts. There was a grandmother that got killed at her grandson's graduation. I think she was in a crossfire. There was just so many people that just got killed. And a lot of them for no reason. And there were shootouts at graduations. When does it all end? I mean, is there something that we, apparently there's, there's no, I can't say that there's something that we're not doing, you know, but is there something that we're missing? Because this is just every day there's a shootout. Graduation, at dances, at football games. When is it? It's just not safe to go anywhere. And as I think I told you before, 
I worry about my grandchildren. Unreal. The cake was good. You know, my, my granddaughter's cake was good. I'm going to wait about five more minutes. If there's nobody coming on, I'm going to go off today. We'll do it again, I think, the last Wednesday of the month. As I fill up the spoon. Little kid of me. Now, I'm going to leave you with this, okay? Because if you're not on now, you will pick it up later. You've got to do better. We owe it to our children to be able to live better, to be able to do better, to be able to read better, be able to just put our arms around our children and say that we love them. People say it's the young kids of the world, and I say it's not. I say it's because a lot of people don't discipline their kids anymore. You know, a lot of people are too wrapped up in money and other things. Um, those people who do discipline their kids, you know, their kids go out of the house and then they have a lot of competition outside the house. You know, it's always kind of been that way, though, you know, where if your parent was a strict parent and some of your friends, you know, outside the house, you know, you went outside with your friends and stuff like that, and they would say, oh, your mother and your father are sick or, I mean, are strict or whatever, you know, kind of always been that way. But the thing is, at the end of the day, for those people whose parents weren't strict or weren't on them about doing certain things. I mean, I even noticed myself as I got as I got older, a lot of those people aren't with us anymore. Now, a lot of my friends got killed in Vietnam. That's true. But a lot of my friends did the opposite of what they were told to do and ended up in drugs and other things and one of them was actually, I remember somebody telling me about this particular boy. It was a boy at the time. Um, he was um, involved in a shootout um, in New York. When he was a young, young kid. I think we were about maybe 20, 21 years old at the time that he got killed. Um, but those are the things that, that happen to you when... I mean, some bad things happen to you and you're not even just standing there, you ain't even doing anything wrong, but I don't know. So I'm going to get ready to go. I gave you 15 minutes of my time. I gave you 15 minutes of my speech. You don't need to hear it because I'm not cooking. I'm not doing anything. So I will see you all later. I love you. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. Hold your family close. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. I guess I might come on and do some things. I right, love you all. Be safe, okay? And um, try as hard as you can to give your family as much love as you can. Love and light and peace. And peace. Be peaceful with God. Till we meet tomorrow. Love you. Take care.